Um, we just mentioned there the efforts that Nokia is taking to make your own business greener. But talk to us about the real impact that a company like yours can have in the fight against climate change. The main point is actually that there is no green without digital. The world economy is perhaps only 30% digital today. We need to digitalize the rest if we want to decarbonize. And uh, us being a technology provider, uh, networking platforms for industries, for operators, we play a very crucial role in this digitalization. When we spoke last week, you talked about the opportunity on the industrial side of things and industry using 5G to you know, forge uh, the, the way forward. Um, talk to us about where you are in that journey in, in terms of the industrial use of 5G. Industrial, uh, industrial 5G is in a very early stage. We estimate through our research on Bell Labs that about 70% of the enterprises of this world will invest in 5G. Uh, in the next five years and this is absolutely necessary if and when we want to improve industrial pr productivity to reduce emissions and reduce waste. Uh, Pekka, good morning to you. Um, we've all discussed this in industry for decades. It's a partnership between the private sector and the public sector as well. And I think at times bodies such as the Commission haven't always understood the pressures on building the infrastructure, whether it be 3G, 4G or 5G as well, and understanding the competitive pressures mean maybe some of the old competition rules just don't work as well. What kind of signals are you getting from the authorities such as the Commission nowadays about the constraints you're under, the cost of that infrastructure, and actually to rebuild this in a green and sustainable way? it's going to take a hell of a lot more money. I do feel that the understanding is actually improving. We are engaging in great... It's No, 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 it's not anywhere near. And, and it, look, hey, as we all know, we are not anywhere near where we need to be on the emissions reductions uh, trajectory. And, and, and the same goes for this public-private partnership. I mean, of course, I mean, most of the stuff really needs to be done by the private sector, but the public sector, they need to provide a framework. Absolutely. And smart regulation is an absolute key. Market-based systems that allocate enough private capital to, for, to this fight. So well, I guess what I'm asking is, and, I, and you're alluding to it there by saying we're not where we need to be, is, is are we still operating on 20th rather than 21st century competition rules in order to have the green light for that framework that you need so that we can go forth and build this sustainable network across Europe? There's a lot to do to the competition rules in the digital economy and there's a lot of things that have not yet even been invited. And, and, and one of the challenges that we are of course facing in Europe, which in general is quite advanced in, 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 in climate action, but we are behind in digitalization. And as I said, both are needed. And what we have is a very fragmented regulatory setup in uh, Europe at the moment for uh, digital. 